Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, continuing my quest to LP every 8-bit Dragon Quest clone ever. So come, and let's play Destiny of an Emperor for the NES. Apparently Capcom did make an RPG before Breath of Fire. I've been meaning to get around to playing this game for over 30 years. I think I saw it in Nintendo Power way back in the day, and it looked cool, but I just never got around to it. Until now! So this game is a traditional turn-based JRPG, though it does have a lot of its own quirks to it. And I'll be going over those quirks as they become relevant. So what do we got going on here? So, uh, Destiny of Emperor, I think, is based on Romance of the Three Kingdoms which was based on records of the Three Kingdoms in China. But obviously they take their own liberties with the plot and all that. But yeah, these are our three starting characters. Liu Bei, descendant of the Emperor, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei. So every all the proper nouns in the game are Chinese. I will do the best I can to pronounce them correctly. I, I actually do have a source that goes over pronunciations. I'll uh, link to it in the video description. But I will do the best I can with that. But I've played the game enough to know how that all works. But yeah, not all these guys are going to be party members or good guys or bad guys. We'll see. But yeah, you sit around on the title screen long enough, you get a little background on some of the more significant characters throughout the game. One thing I like about this game is that everyone's got a badass portrait of themselves. You didn't really see that a whole lot back in the 8-bit era. Why do they call him Tiger? I don't know. I know what it means. But, I mean, I guess they they use Tiger because uh, they're a ferocious warlord or general. We got a couple strategists here, or tacticians, as they also call them in the game. Or sometimes supporters, depending on which NPC you're talking to. Ah, there we go. Yeah, warlords there. So we've got a lot of... Uh, warlords to go through here. I think that text is, uh, what is it, the records of the three kingdoms. But, all oh, right, so, got all that. Uh, there we go. So, let's get started here. Create our save file, and I'll just go with the classic, H.C. Bailey. Good thing it's eight letters long. Press start. We're good to go. So let's see. I'm going to use the fast text scrolling speed. But if that's too fast for you, let me know. And I could probably change it, I think. So these are our three starting party members. Well, of course you were. I don't want to die at the same time as all my friends. Is that supposed to be dramatic or something? I don't know. Well, good for you! Hey, how's it going? Those rebel scum. Bad guys doing bad things, and we have to stop them. Oh, I'm the... Er, well, maybe not the Emperor yet, but I'm a descendant of the Emperor. But sounds like a plan. Oh, okay. I thought that castle was called, uh, Zuzhou. Or something, but, uh... Well, I guess the, the guy in charge is Tao Qian. I'm not a soldier, I'm an Emperor. I'm going to be. Well, at least for now, we're going to have to do the dirty work ourselves. Oh, okay. 
I volunteer. Well, thank you. Bring civilization back to this land by murdering millions of people. Yeah, pretty much. Well, thanks, Mom. You are... Yeah, Mom. Okay, good, good. I think all of the playable characters in the game, though, are male. Hey, let's take a look around. Oh, yeah, I kind of went through it quickly. You press the A button, you get into your command menu that you can use to talk to people. Oh, yeah, so I will. I'll get around to it. Let's see what else we got going on around here. Oh, uh, thanks. I guess. That, uh, oh, okay, a horse. Well, there you go. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. Oh, well, good for you. Oh, okay, what do you got? Hey, all right. Yeah, for talking to this guy, you get some money and rations. Uh, basically, the way uh, that works is that when you're outside of a town, let's say you take a step, you consume one ration there. And if you run out of rations, I think you actually start taking damage or something. I don't really worry about that because the game gives you way more than you'll ever use. Okay, out of the way, horse. Okay, we can uh, do it this way. Oh, that was fast. Oh. Well, I don't believe you. Okay, I believe you now. Well, who are these guys? Oh, yeah, so I am. Song Ren and Song Young, huh? Oh, sure. The more the merrier. More party members! Alright! Unfortunately, they do not bring along any equipment with them, but the main three do. So let's go into the item menu there and start, well, equipping stuff because, yeah, they have equipment for you, but it doesn't start equipped, so that makes it a bit more difficult. Yeah, kind of a bastard move there, but let's start getting some stuff equipped. So, for the weapon, I want to use a flail that's stronger than the dagger there. Get that going. And then, with the dagger, I would like to give that to Sung Ren. Since, I, well, you can only equip one weapon at a time. And then, let's see, for Guan Yu, let's also give him the flail. But I actually want to give the robe to Liu Bei there. So now we're all outfitted there. Let's see, with Zhang Fei, let's have him equip a flail as well. But I want to give his robe over to Song Ren there. And then, okay, yeah, I think that's, uh, oh, well, I gotta equip Song Ren with the stuff that I gave him too. Unfortunately, we don't have enough equipment for everyone, so someone's gonna get screwed in that Song Young. So, oh well. So, let me take a look at the stats of my uh, generals here now. So, let's see, with uh, AP, that is your attack points. Essentially, the attack power of your weapon. The displayed value there in-game, though, is never actually used in the damage calculation, but it's still useful. I mean, it tells you that, while well, weapons with more attack points will deal more damage than ones with less. So, like, the flail has more than the dagger there. It's just not always directly proportional like that. So that's your essentially your attack power. Uh, AC is armor construction, which is essentially your defense power to reduce physical damage by a percentage of that value divided by 256. So in this case, it'll reduce all physical damage by a bit less than 10% there. And then we got the soldiers there. That's essentially your HP value. You're a warlord, but you have 314 soldiers with you. And when you run out of soldiers, you're dead. So don't do that. 
So let's see, if we press the select button, we can see the full party there. Even though we do have five party members right now, they only show three of them on the exploration there, I guess because, you know, to avoid sprite flicker as much as we can. So I want to arrange the party order mostly in order of the most soldiers to the least there. Because characters at the top will get attacked more often than the ones at the bottom there. So go to formation, order, and then let's see, I want to go, yeah, Song Young, Song Ren, and that ought to be good. Now, I put Song Young in the second position there, even though I don't have anything equipped for him, because he's not going to be doing anything useful, so I'll just have him defend all the time for now. But otherwise, the rest will be good there. Hey, how's it going? Oh, well, I appreciate you referring to me in the third person, but, uh, okay, we'll leave this way since that guy is in the way there. So let's head on west to the castle of Tao Chian. Well, that was easy. Oh, Zhu Zhou. Okay, there we go. That works. So it's usually the first building in a town or a castle that has like a kind of a decorated door frame there. That's usually going to be the inn. You rest up here and it restores you to your maximum number of soldiers, which is essentially your HP, really. It also restores all of your tactical points. That's what the uh, TP value there is, but we don't have any tactics at the start. So I'll go over how that all works later. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's where we're going to have to go next. Let's see who else is around here. But, yeah, we're going to be recruiting a lot of warlords throughout the game that are more powerful than the ones we got now. Now, this guy looks important. He's got a somewhat unique sprite. Mije. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, why not? More party members with BJ. So, let's see, with him, yeah, he doesn't join with any equipment. I'm gonna give Song Ren's equipment over to him, and I'll rearrange my party based on that later. But, yeah, just, uh, pass everything over to him, and then equip everything, and we're good to go. see what else is going on around here. Well, well then I'm going to murder them right back. Sounds like a plan. Oh. What about them? Oh, okay. Well, I'll keep an eye out for them. Looks like we know where uh, one of them is. Hey, how's it going? Um, looks like you guys already uh, know who we are. Yeah, for some reason, the lowercase q kind of looks like an A. I, I, I don't know why, but yeah, get used to it. Oh, okay. So he's the guy in charge then. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, so it does, apparently. That's the general idea, yeah. Well then, why didn't you? You're the one in charge here. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you are pretty old, I suppose. Oh, well, maybe you should have uh, thought about that. But I'll see what I can do about them. Hey, all right. Let's see, do we got anything up here? Nothing! Okay, never mind, then. Let's get out of here, then. Let's see, what was this guy saying about the, uh... Ah, there we go. Okay, so, Chingjo Castle, huh? But, yeah, we gotta, uh... Head on up there, eventually. Now, to save your game, you gotta find the historian here. So you talk to the guy, 
What does the invite command do right now? Oh, right, right. Ah, oh, okay. Well, don't worry about the invite command for now. It's evidently not relevant. But, uh, to save, I want to, uh, yeah, record. Yeah, they tell you how much experience you need to gain a level. But, uh, yeah, let's save that. Now, at this point in the game, when you save and reload, you'll actually start your... Or when you reload your save file, you'll start back at Lubei's mom to the east there. But I'm not going to uh, depend on that. But can we defeat uh, Zhang Liang at Qingzhou Castle to the north? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.